Man, that was... What's going on, guys? Hope you all are having a great day out there today, guys. The BMX track has finally cleared out. The last people are leaving. So we are going to bust out the Outcast 8S down here and have a little fun with this thing. Um, got a few things together on this thing. As you guys know, in some of the last videos on this, I had been tweaked the chassis a little bit underneath. Sorry, you probably can't really see that. But the chassis is slightly warped. Um, I have now added the M2C center brace ends on this thing and uh we're gonna go out and give her a little rip around here it is a hot hot day it's the kind of day where your feet are sticking to the blacktop but we're gonna go have some fun guys hopefully this thing uh doesn't overheat out here in this heat they haven't really got to run it in this hot of temperature so it'd be a good test out here at the bmx track it'll be the first time getting to run this thing down here so should be a good time so stay tuned everybody all right guys well we got the exp out here gonna give her first few runs here <laughs> Track's always a lot of fun. Glad finally it got cleared out. Once it got hot enough, most everybody <laughs> went home, which was good. It was kind of what I was figuring. Once it got to the hot time of the day, most everybody would be going home and trying to cool off and see how this beast holds up today. All right, let's go give her a few sends off this thing. This tabletop's always pretty fun. All right, guys. Well, I decided I've done it to all my other cars. We're going to see if we can get the uh, Outcast to clear this whole quadruple area. We're going to get her up here lined up. Get her turned around and see what she's got. <laughs> no problem at all. I was a little bit hesitant because they did shorten the uh, takeoff ramp up there a little bit. Wasn't sure she was going to clear it, but she did it with ease, guys. With ease. All right, as again, in proper fashion, the lawnmowers have followed me around. Every time I'm down here, the lawnmowers seem to follow me. That's a pretty rough landing coming down in there that way, because it is just a straight up. <laughs> I don't think either way coming at this jump is very smooth. It's a pretty, rather rough landing either way. But it looks like they have uh, cleaned up the jump since the last time we were down here, so. I think we're going to go give the Outcast a few rips off these double doubles and stuff down here. It's kind of interesting. Any of you guys that have seen any of the other previous BMX track videos, they have now split this into two different sections, I guess, um, depending on, I guess, the class of racers, because these gut jumps don't have any uh, tabletops in between. They're just straight takeoff and down ramp, where these are a little more forgiving. It looks like a lot of fun either way for the Outcast. So let's start giving this thing a launch off this thing. Hit the first double here. Well, I didn't quite hit the diner hip on that one, but still hit it pretty nicely. Whoop, lost track of it. All right, let's go send her off this one. All right, we're gonna hit this one this way. See what kind of air we can catch. And you know, I think before we leave, we're gonna have to try to hit the monster jump over there hitting that high wall that could be interesting with the outcast All right, we're gonna see if we can double double this thing well <laughs> didn't hit the donner in perfectly on that one but beautiful <laughs> man this outcast the air control is just amazing Nice. Man, she is jumping beautiful out here on these jumps. Outcast is loving the BMX track. At least so far. Hopefully it continues to treat me good. I'm trying to smooth these up. Ah, the second one was a little better. Oh, man. That wasn't so pretty, though. <laughs> They can't all be beautiful. All right, we're gonna try this double double section, but it's kind of at a constant turn, so it might be a little tricky. Well, almost. Didn't quite make the second one. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> kind of lost the track of it there. Nice. <laughs> the Outcast is a lot of fun out here at the BMX track. I'm glad this place cleared out for the day. 
was able to use it a little bit. Oh no! Oh man, she's taking a nasty roll down over the hill. Did she survive that? Bring it back up here and take a look at it. Doesn't look like it, guys. Looks like I got a broken A arm or something here. Yep. Bent the hell out of the drive shaft and broke the A arm. Man, I really wanted to send this thing off that big jump, but it looks like it's going to be an early day for the Outcast, unfortunately, guys. I could even pop that A arm back in there and temporarily, but that drive shaft is really twisted, as you can see. I mean, she is bent like a banana. Well, that's unfortunate, but I do have the Typhon success with me, so I guess we will uh, take that out for a rip now. Well, I believe I have an A-arm for this thing at home, but I do not have a dry shaft, so I'm going to have to see if I can bend this one straight again. If not, I'll have to order a dry shaft, I guess, but the good part is it's always important to bring spares, and I do still have the EXP with me that I could always take out again if I want to. I think we're going to bust the Typhon 6S out because this thing has always been fun down here at the track, guys. All right, guys, we got the Typhon 6S out here, but I'm running this thing on 4S for right now. going to kind of rip it around on this a little bit. Um, since I didn't kill the batteries on the uh, Outcast very much, I decided to chuck one of these 100C 6500 milliamp 4Ss in here. So we're going to run around here for a little bit. I got another 6S LiPo with me, but man, that was beautiful. You couldn't ask for a smoother jump the net. 4S is just perfect amount of power to clear these quadruples. <laughs> but since I have the Creighton 6S with me too, I figured I'd save the 6S for that if I want to run it on there. That is beautiful. Sorry, but <laughs> that is a perfect smooth jump right there. So let's go see if we can continue the nice smooth jumps over here. All right, we're gonna give the Typhon a rip around here, a little more on the 4S. And you know, guys, this is one thing about you know, the 6S cars. Just because they run on 6S does not mean you have to run them on 6S all the time. I mean, I ran this Typhon all the time at that indoor track during the wintertime on 4S just because it was so much more controllable and it ran so nice on it. But usually I'm always running, you know, the cars at the motocross tracks and the BMX tracks and stuff like that on 6s just because it's got a ridiculous amount of power but it's not always needed let's go ahead and give her a few sends off of this one all right we're gonna take her up here and try a double double with it i don't think i'm gonna try these jumps where i just killed the outcast because it's on a constant turn so it's just kind of hard to properly line up oh came down a little a little too heavy on the nose on that one I thought I gave it enough gas, but obviously not, right? All right, we're gonna launch her towards us here. See if we can get a good jump coming this way. That was a little smoother. Unfortunately, man, this path I usually take to run and hit this bank is really chewed up down there. There's a lot of huge rocks and they got hay bales down there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to hit that jump if I can this time, because it's kind of messed up, guys. They changed this track around a lot recently. So, not quite the same as it used to be, but they've added in some really nice jumps. Woo, man! She got some good air off of that one. I laid into it a little bit harder on that time, and man, Typhon is just ripping out here. This car is honestly, guys, one of my favorite. I mean, it can't take the motocross track as well sometimes because of it's just very rough out there. But on normal smooth dirt and stuff like that, like BMX tracks and skate parks, I mean, this thing is just a jumping rocket. Thing just jumps beautiful. All right, guys, I think we're going to try hitting this jump in a little different spot. We're going to see how it works out. It might work out terrible. Or she might work out good. Who knows? We're going to try coming at it like this. 
because I think I might be able to get a little bit of speed coming at it this way. So we're going to give it a try. The coast is clear going that way. Grass is kind of deep. Woo! She landed that. Beautiful, guys. Wow. She was coming down a little bit, a little bit heavy on one side, but she landed that with no problems. I'm not going to thread the fence here. Car is a blast, guys. Well, the Typhoon took that like a champ. She's still running great, guys. Ooh! Oh, man, I just, just caught the top of that down ramp. Now, running on 6S, I can usually clear that no problem. Got a little bit more air control and just that little extra bit of punch to it, but even on 4S, this thing's ripped. <laughs> Whoop, little off course. Woo. I'm gonna try to get it from this direction. I'm gonna see if we can get a little better run. Alright. Oh again, just caught the top of that down ramp. Literally catching right here. You can see it caught right here, a few feet short. On 6S it's got no problem clearing that, but 4S, you gotta be on a little bit more. Oh, right into the next one. Jeez. We'll see if we can not hit it quite as hard and land up just on top of the plateau here. Nice. Looks like my front of my body's coming off. Let's see what's going on. Oh, the body post screw came out of the bottom, which is kind of unfortunate because you got to take off this whole top plate to get it back on, which is kind of a goofy design, to be honest with you. I wish it would have been screwed on a little differently. So I don't want to kill the body, so we're not going to continue this much longer. Because I do just want to be able to go home and throw a screw in it and have it back together. And this video is probably getting long enough as it is. So I'm probably going to call it a day here. Nice and smooth. That's what I was looking for. Ah, oh, did she roll? I hear the wheel spinning, so I guess it did. Well, guys, not going to make the video any longer. Had a little fun with the Typhon. The Outcast was jumping beautiful out here, but unfortunately came to a little early demise with a bad landing and a tumble down over the hill. But it was fun nonetheless. Had a good time with the Outcast, and the Typhon is always a great time. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along and watching and tuning in today, guys. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate the support, the comments, and the likes. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. I think only like 70% of you, or 70% of you are not subscribed. So if you guys enjoy, if you come back more than once for one of my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But until next time, y'all be safe, be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.